Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. the best song ever. Whoa, whoa. Katie Armiger here with us all the way from Sugarland, Texas. Is that right? Yes. So how is it being from a city that's named after one of the most popular groups in country music? I mean, everybody probably says, oh, Sugarland, Sugarland, Texas. That's cool. It's pretty cool. It's, I mean, it's a really cute little suburb, but yeah, everybody's always like, oh my gosh, so are you great friends with Sugarland? I'm like, no, they're actually not from there. Oh, see, I didn't even know. I was just asking, where are they from, actually? Do you know where they're from? Um, they're from Atlanta. Oh, okay. There you go. Sugarland is not from Sugarland, Texas. They are not. Katie Armiger is. We might be miles apart. I'll carry you in my heart. I'll send you kisses on the phone. But, Mama, I'm leaving home. You've been all over the place opening for some big, big names. Give us an idea of who you've been on the road with here. Oh, wow. Um, I just got finished with a show this weekend in Cleveland, uh, opening for Brad Paisley, and I'll be doing a lot of um, other shows this year as well, um, a few different dates with Darius Rucker and um, just a lot of other artists. So it's going to be a really, really busy summer. Take us through the early part of your career, because it's pretty insane. <laughs> sure. Um, I started singing when I was nine years old. And my mom would just shuttle me around in the minivan and I do all these fairs and festivals and rodeos um, all over Texas. And when I was 14, I did a contest called uh, The Best Country Singer in Houston. And I won that and with it, I got some money and some demos and the whole purpose was to go to Nashville and, and record those. And, um, and so I hooked up with the head of the label, Pete, and we went there and what started out as just a few demos and maybe we're gonna pitch these to a label turn into an album and us starting an independent label. There's no doubt that I felt something at first sight. I'm all torn up. Must be love. Or maybe baby, I ain't thought it through. No, I think I do, but do I? I think I do, but do I? I think I do, but do I really love you? I do, but do I was actually written by one of my good friends, Rin Boyer, and I loved it. You know, I think everybody has felt that way in a relationship where they're kind of confused and they're like, maybe I like them, but maybe I don't. This is still really new. I don't know. And uh, it's just a really catchy song. And so when I heard it for the first time, I'm like, wow, you know, I can't get this out of my head. I feel like maybe this would happen to other people. So we should release it and see what happens. This is moving way too fast to last too long. What's the name of the album? It's called Confessions of a Nice Girl. And we'll actually be releasing a deluxe edition in the fall, which will have I Do But Do I on it and um, a few music videos and remixes of songs as well. It's impossible to stare at you in the face, right in the eye. They're ridiculous. They're amazing eyes. Look at, get a close up of the green eyes. It's hard to actually look at you because they're, they're stunning eyes. The voice is even better. Katie Armiger. She can stop blushing now. We thank you for joining us at My Country 96.1. Thank you so much. Yeah, you said we'd always be together, such a